Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Dalton, Adult in Ninety Five Punch. Another Transformers Legacy, uh, Toxitron G Two Universe or Legacy Evolution Sideswipe. And yeah, same issue that I had with Dead End. The associate kind of manhandled the box and just kind of ripped it. But not the end of the world. I at least got Sideswipe. So there's plenty to celebrate there. What's interesting that I just noticed is here on the box art, he's got a gray face. But in the packaging, he has also got the regular side swipe head. But in the packaging, he's got the red alert head, and it is all, you know, that turquoise that we saw from the concept art. So interesting they went with that. So 16 steps. I mean, kind of what you'd expect from the Kingdom slash Earthrise side swipe. So here we have the full artwork from this line. And like I said with Toxitron, I absolutely love this. 2D kind of comic book style thing that they've gone on here with the legacy artwork. I actually like this way more than, you know, the regular legacy evolution art. So if we could get like a print of just this, this scene in this style, I would, I would get that over the standard edition any day. So let's go ahead and quit talking about the box and check this guy out. And here we have G2 Sideswipe out of his packaging, or at least Toxitron G2 Sideswipe. Because I know a lot of people, including myself, when we think of G2 Sideswipe, we think of this guy. And just for all of his accessories, let's put his bazooka there. So yeah, when I think of G2 Sideswipe, I definitely think of how he looked in the comic and the original you know, actually released toy. But this one is based on old concept art of, you know, a version of him that never came to be. Much like all the other figures in this, you know, Toxitron collection lineup. So here he is. Here he is with the Kingdom Sideswipe. And just to show, let's talk about it, the intro with the head. There he is with Red Alert. So you can see he does have the more Red Alert style head. But, I mean, everything else is as it's always been with this mold for Lambo Brothers, or I guess just Lambos. There is his rifle, kind of this turquoise, seafoam green color. And he does come with the shoulder mounted launcher. Now, one thing that is strange about this that I've noticed, so on this release, it has the 5mm peg and this little tiny, like, blast effect compatible, you know, 3.5mm section. You know, it makes it look like it's a launching missile. Now, with the G2 version, it is completely different. Instead, going for this more shortened 5mm section with this long 3.5mm portion. So I don't know why they changed that up or what the purpose of that even was. Unless it's got something to do Within there, bring the light. So maybe something to do with something in there. It's so hard to tell. Let's go ahead and just zoom back out. But yeah, I just thought that was weird that they've changed that. I don't know if it's to make this more secure or what, because. Just barely moving it, and kind of knocks it off of there. So I don't know what the point of that was. Again, it just kind of baffles me. But plug it on his shoulder there. Of course, it's still all Blast Effect compatible. So there you got that. Just for the time being, we'll go ahead and remove that accessory. And as far as our ticket for paint apps go, let's 
We've got the G2 symbol there. There's not a ton of paint on this figure, except for when we get to vehicle mode. But robot mode, you just get the eyes painted on. You got that all blue face. Again, based on that concept figure and art. Got this kind of Miami Vice sunset thing going on with his torso. And then you'll see it again in vehicle mode. And then just some silver here on the feet and the rims of the wheels. Of course, that kind of turquoise paint here on the bumper. This whole backpack section is yellow paint. Get some of that turquoise in there. I don't know if it's plastic or paint. So going on to articulation, his head is on a ball joint, 360, 360 at the shoulders, all the way out, bicep swivel, 90 at the elbow, nothing at the wrist, waist swivel, forward and back at the hips, all the way out, less than 90 at the knee due to this newly molded, or at the time it was newly molded, but get about to there, it sucks I can't go further than that. Get pretty good ankle tilt. So there is sideswipe. So let's go ahead and get him into vehicle mode. I'll remove his blaster. I start folding in his fists. Bring this whole section up. Collapse the waist and abdomen down over his face. Open up these sections here that will become the doors. Then open up these panels on, well, I guess, and close that up, elbow up, down, and in, kind of slot these together, and what you want to do is at the base here, just bring that down, same thing at the base, just so you can get a good bend on it, or, you know, Rotation, or clip, I don't know. Rotate the waist, bring the legs up and around. Close up those panels, then close up those panels. Whoop! Don't go launching it out of your hands. There is side swipe. And here is the Kingdom side swipe and the G2, you know, siege side swipe with all the non off weapons and some toy hack stickers. So, yeah, quite the uh, standout here as far as colors. So, starting off again, we got that kind of sunset theme going on there at the hood and on the doors. So, you got the sun there, the clouds looking nice. And then you get the more gradient look here on the back, and I absolutely love this. I do hope that Nanaf does a set with the turquoise spoiler. They can kind of go with this. Because I feel like, you know, with it being Earth mode, that it does still need a spoiler. But still, not upset at all with it. I get the blue tires there. This rim is a little tight, but other than that, I mean, he still rolls okay. Got some storage. Actually take this, plug it into his rifle. And there you go. Got side swipe all armed up. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get him back into robot mode. We finish off this video. Go ahead and pop these open. Pop these sides open. Flip up this piece here. Oop. Go ahead and unclip that. Get that out. And kind of bending back the legs here, it, or bending the knees, it will push the feet out. So you just got to bring them down. Close those panels up, rotate at the waist, there we go, bring out the arms, bring them up, fold in those panels, 
then flip down this whole hood piece while flipping out the hands. And there you have Legacy G2 Universe Toxitron Collection Sideswipe back in robot mode. We'll give him back his weapons here. So, yeah. I mean, I really dig the color scheme on this. Uh, it just, it pops, it stands out. The, the turquoise and the yellow paired with the white and the orange. Yeah, it's going to pop on the shelf. People are going to notice it along with the rest of these because I mean, I'm going to be displaying all the G2 stuff together. So on the shelf, these guys and definitely the upcoming Grimlock that I've got on pre-order are going to pop like crazy on the shelf. So, yeah, I mean, I dig it. I like what they're going for. I do hope we do get, you know, an Earthrise or Kingdom Mold of this with all the proper accessories from Hasbro. I love these ones from Non-F, but I'd like to see what Hasbro does if they do another G2, G, or, you know, toy style sideswipe and comic style, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I with this mold, I'm looking forward to the Shattered Glass sideswipe as well as the obvious uh, Armada Wheeljack slash Micron Legend Rampage colors. But we'll see what happens. So, hope you guys enjoyed this while I'm rambling here at the end. Uh, let me know what you think of this G2 Sideswipe. Are you going to get him? Have you gotten him already? He is one per case, so try to keep an eye out for him. Uh, and just hope that the guy opening up the box, if they have a brand new case, doesn't manhandle the hell out of the box. Like I said, it's not the end of the world or anything, but ugh, I'm just tired of employees not being careful because they know these are collectibles or, you know, for collectors, and some of them like to keep the butt packaging. But it is what it is. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out my links down below for Twitter. I, as long as the link still works, I'm not going to call it X. So Twitter and Instagram, I am going to start posting more stuff on there eventually. I know I keep saying that, but it, it'll happen sometime. So hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to check out all those other links as well as my other videos in the Legacy playlist. And I will see you all next time.